what's going on guys it's your boy mr 75 complete heat with another video today guys we're going to be going to uh deliver the 1987 chevy monte carlo which i have in front of me in the tow truck i am outside it is cold and it feels like my hands are breaking holding the camera <laughs> anyways the reason i'm delivering is because the guy that bought the car actually has some cars that he wants to show me and you guys actually know the guy i'm not going to say too much until we get there uh, so we're gonna see what he has in stock for sale and see if, if he has anything that interests us but let me show you the car one more last time check it out tow truck all dirty but the monte carlo all cleaned up ready shines up pretty nice looks nice nice and clean all right well i'll check back with y'all once we get to the guys shop all right guys we made it out here to chicago the west side i think this is the west side yeah it's the west side y'all can kind of let me show you kind of see downtown right there with the city but i don't know if you guys remember this is fabian's shop you probably remember the Graffiti on the wall. Yeah, Fabian is the guy who bought the car, guys. Uh, for those who don't know Fabian, he sells box Chevys. He sells old schools too, but he's mostly, he sells a lot of box Chevys. So y'all might want to check him out. He also got a YouTube page, which I'll ask him right now so he can show you, uh, tell you guys his name. But Monte Carlo is being delivered right now. And we're going to go check inside what he got. Because he said he got some toys. So, not bad to see what he has in inventory. But let me unload it so we can see what he got inside. Alright man, we are inside the shop. And this is the first thing he offers me is his Huffy bike. What's, what's up with this bro? That's the box Chevy bike. This is the box Chevy bike? This is the first ever Schwinn Huffy they ever made in the world. What size and wheels? 26? 30s. 30? Minutes. They look like 26s. Uh, you got some Ruchis on there. Ruchis. Waiting for the matching steering wheel to come in. Nice. Include the interior seat on there. Put some LEDs on it. Might be 215s. You need bigger brakes. Them brakes are a little rusty. Uh, well, now those are good. They stop, so. Those yeah. Are good for now. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's up, man? What you got? What you got for us? So, we're going to start over here. Well, let me get this. Uh, you might as well just leave it. Leave it. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so my guy had gave me this hood it's for a 71. The hood that's on there, it's all right, but uh, you know, within time you close it on, they start getting flimsy and you know, the, that side's all fucking like bended up. So I said, man, fuck it, we're gonna put a new hood on there anyway. So one of my guys had this one since fucking 2000, he said in his garage. The car? No, the hood. Oh, the hood. Yeah, no, this car's been in, uh, it's a California car. So you know, it's been Cali its whole life, really. Still got the original Cali title to it. I've been slacking off on it. So what is a 71 Apollo? Yeah, hell yeah, 71. Uh, did a little shit to it here and there, you know, with little chances that I get. Put the sunroof in there. Uh, put the original dashboard back, because it's about cranked up. One thing I like it, I'm solid, it got everything. I mean, I do got these strips too. We learned uh, the seat, we took them off and we put the sunroof in there. Basically got everything out there and shit, you know, because you know these parts are hard to find and shit. And find them shit, one for the taxi floor. Oh yeah. Oh, so you, oh, the only thing you did so far was added this big roof? Yeah, I put that big roof in there. What is, uh, this is, what is, what? Oh, I don't even know, I just told my want a big ass roof in there. Oh, you don't know where it came from? No, hell no. I just, you know, rely on him, man, bro, just do what you gotta do. <laughs> they know what I like, so. It's all original, yeah, right? Yeah, everything's all original in here. Like I said, the only thing I did, uh, it's open. I haven't even cleaned it yet. It's just been, like I said, it's been sitting. It's putting a little car that you just throw to the side. And, you know, the cars you see in the old people's yards where they said one day I'm going to fix her up. <laughs> did you did you add that dash? Or did you have yeah, that yeah, I, I did the dashboard on it. Oh, I was going to say, look, you got a nice dash with a speaker yeah. in the middle. Well, they yeah. come with a speaker in the middle, but that was like an upgraded mesh. Yeah, uh, yeah, because that one was all cracked the fuck up. <laughs> Yeah, they all be cracked up. Shit, even those in the box Chevys. That sign and that Cali sign, shit. So, uh, yeah, we did the dashboard out. Like I said, little by little, I've been doing little stuff to it, but uh, 
I was not able to fix her up because you know another project comes along. And <laughs> it always be like that. Yeah, so I'm like, ah, let me put it to the side. So what you doing with this? Is this for sale? Uh, or is this like your project? Yeah, it's kind of a little project for right now. So you gotta fix the little roof right yeah, pad. Yeah, like the only rust that it has on the whole damn car, to be honest. The top? Yeah, hell yeah, like a little small little rust spots right here. Like I said, it's a Cali car, so you know the floors. Everybody want to get Mr. 75 underneath there? Nah, it's <laughs> hard, man. <laughs> nah, I'm okay. <laughs> it's a project, guys. So yeah. If you, I mean, you say you say the floors are solid? Yeah, yeah. He says the floors are solid, so we can take his word. Uh, I think so. He nah. thinks so? All right. Well, nah, they're solid. Shit. Like I said, it's a candy I mean, shit. when you guys, honestly, if you guys are looking to buy a project, I suggest anybody who's ever going to buy a project, go look at it because you don't know what you're buying. Hell so no. regardless. I bought this one blinded, honestly. Oh, yeah? I, usually I'll go fly out there, but this one was like, you know what, fuck it. But unless, unless it's a good price, it, it really don't oh, matter. Me, because. Price. <laughs> oh, okay. See, there you go. <laughs> then. That, that's why you price. chance it. Like, you're willing yeah. to chance it when you I get it. I said, a, man, fuck it. As long as it's running the driver's shit for the price that I got it for, I can't yeah. lie out. Man, fuck it. Sometimes you can get a good deal as long as I mean, if you chance it, it's got to be a good deal because yeah. at the end of the day, you know well, what the car really is. Chanced it because I had some uh, some of my people out there, so they went to go look at it for me. And, you know, they oh, okay. Bit. So you kind of so I kind of did have my eye, but I had somebody else eye. But you know what you like is different from somebody else likes it. You know, I see a couple of stuff that they didn't show me, or like, man, bro, but I can't complain. Like I said, right. You know, That's the hard stuff. part, man. That's why. When I sell cars, I try to be as honest as possible, but yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you gotta understand that. Gotta, but I, I mean, don't know the history in the cars. I only know what they told me or what I see, but at the same time, you know, we, we really don't know everything. You know, things can happen. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, anything yeah. really can happen. Last Basically, minute. Yeah. So, so the, it's a used car. Real Dayton's, stamp Dayton's. For real? Yeah. Oh, right, man. Yeah, those are platinums. Those aren't even chrome. <coughs> <coughs> All right, we're, we're, we're just gonna. <laughs> We're just gonna just agree. Keep along. Yeah, we're just, we're just gonna agree to what he says. If y'all are yeah, concerned, I some little regular folks that came with it. You know, I've been meaning to go look for some rollouts, take those off. You know, so I can post them off for like ten bands. Nice. Nice. Very <laughs> nice. So what's next? So what we got next here is uh, we got your specialty, the you know, Mr. Seventy Five Capri specialty right here. Yep. Yes, sir. You already know. You fell in love with this one, so let's make it buy it. You know, the skirts go on the body, not on top. No, this is a new style right now. Oh, that's how you ride in style? Change, so do one on trend. and one off? Hell yeah. I'm gonna do a new trend right now. We only ride one skirt. You just picked this one up, right? Yeah, so uh, this one I actually flew all the way to uh, Boston, Massachusetts. You know, I had to Boston. Get my yeah, I wanted to go to Boston, you know. It looks like it's been sitting. Oh, yeah. Uh, damn, I should have been going back to Taylor. So the guy I bought it from, he's been buying, he was trying to buy it from the original owner for years, 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 years. You know, so uh, he finally got a hold of it but back in like 90 something. You know, he finally got a hold of it and he's been doing, just basically having to sit in his fucking garage now. So then I guess, you know, emergencies come up, family emergencies and all that. So he's like, man, I gotta sell it. So uh, I had to, like I said, I flew out there and to go buy it and everything and shit. So everything checked out. I do gotta re replace this roof. The top? Uh, yeah, that, that shit's a Freddy Krueger. Oh, don't want to close. Yeah, but uh, like I said, oh, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't, my bad. Uh, what, what motor's in here? Does this run? Oh, uh, that's a 400. Oh, okay, so there's a motor. No, it's fine. I was just that's the only thing I didn't ask yeah. what motor was in here. I didn't know if it was a roller. I know it's a project, but I didn't know if it had a motor. It needs gas, bro. <laughs> yeah, I said it's been sitting right here for a couple of months. <laughs> ah. Hi. Right. For a big block. <laughs> Light it up at the red light. <laughs> so it does run, guys. Yeah, it runs. Transmission had went out, so then I put a new transmission. So now the transmission that's in there, the dry shaft was too short. So now I got it at the shop another, making make me another dry shaft for it. So I mm -hmm. 
moving around through some 360s and shit. <laughs> and that's the problem with projects. You don't know what you yeah, get yourself yeah, into until you, yeah, but until you get the car, you, you start finding everything. Yeah, yeah. That's, this 75 is all original. Yeah, this is original car. Like I said, I still have the title from uh, 99 when it was registered. 1999, he was the second owner on it. So uh, I'm basically gonna be like the third owner on this one. So this is a no AC car. Yeah. Shit, you don't need AC. Just put that top back. <laughs> push that pedal. <laughs> hey, some AC people, right some people still like their AC in the convertibles. Yeah, hell yeah, you know. I'm not an AC person, but unless it's yeah. like really hot, but I won't. You won't catch me in a car like this when it's really hot. I'll be in the AC with the tinted windows. Nah, I should jump another one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I see it, man. So what's uh, what's your plans with this one? Uh, we're gonna remix this one. You know, do a stink to it. You got color in mind? You want back the same color? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, he does got a YouTube channel, so if y'all want to see the updates on all these cars, what's your YouTube channel? Uh, Shy Town Fable. Y'all can go follow me on there. We're looking up right now. Shy Town Fable. Y'all make sure y'all subscribing, liking, commenting, all that shit. Uh, how you go to your channel? There it goes right there. So y'all want to subscribe? I seen your subscribers been going up. That's good. Trying to get little vlogs here and there and shit. Oh, that's a nice car. So you got two projects, two dunk projects. Yeah, the projects never stop. I need to get my ass off that marketplace. What, what, what happened to the box Chevys? You in the dunk game now. Oh, hell yeah. Nah, you know, we got to mix it up. You know, box Chevys, dunks, verts. Yeah. Fucking T-tops, G-bodies. So, so what else you got? Soon. That's all you got? What uh, else you got here? still remember the pickup truck you know? yeah he's the guy that bought the pickup truck for those that were wondering he's the one who bought it i don't know what he got going on because that's not how he bought it but yeah no we took out the seats on there i'm sure he shows all his updates on his youtube i don't know what he did to it yeah, but we took the seats out uh and now we kind of next step we put the new bucket seats in we put a console in it oh you you change interior up, i yeah, see yeah. you got a big console now Uh, yeah, so yeah, as y'all wondering why is all this shit right here because uh, we got that little steering wheel, the matching steering wheel to go with it. That's nice, hell yeah. So we had to get the matching steering wheel, so that's why all this shit's right here with the process of changing the steering wheel on it. So that's a little update on this one. It's coming along, hell yeah, it's getting there, man. <laughs> well, at least I know we're in good hands, got a new interior. I don't know what else is you what else you doing to it. That's it. That's about it. You know, not too much. You know, we kind of. What you doing with the Bentley? You gonna sell it? Uh, we might. I mean, if somebody's interested. They want it. If anybody's interested in a Bentley for a Ford, it's available. Hit up uh, Fabian. What's this one's kind of pending already? So. Oh, the truck. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, you already sold it. What's up with this G body right here? See, that's my guys right here, so he could explain to you more about this one. This the one that had the rootsies? Explain to him about this car. Uh, this one got a lot of work done to it. Got a lot of work done to it? Yeah, this is the one that had the rootsies? No. Oh, it's a different one? No, this is a different one. You just yeah, got this one? No, this one was a lot so sold. This is one of my guys right now. He's um, we're getting the inside done for him. But he got a uh, full six crate motor. Uh, we got, we've been talking everything by Sammy's. Uh, we got, you know, seven inch left. Got the Villanos. Tain it up. Oh, you're getting the interior done, you said, right? Got the big boy brakes. Yeah, they got everything done to it. Six piston, Wellwoods. Yeah, pop that bitch. Yeah, y'all might have something under the hood. Y'all want to keep popping the hood. 442. 442. Oh, look at that big steering wheel. Child. Oh, well, you said this was a 406? That's a 406 Craig Morgan. Let me close the hood on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Who did the motor work in this? Um, it was I think some Chicago performance or something like that. I don't know exactly their name. 
Got a nice pulley system, village. Nice. You can't put air filter, that's why you need that uh, hood scoop, right? Yeah. The cow hood? Oh, the hit it, right? Yeah, yeah we we'll hit it. I also need to get that cow. It's yeah, nice, well, nice. He's done with it. Got the big radiator. Got soon. the dual electric fan. Yeah, I got pretty much everything I need. Nice, nice. So he's one of your guys' car? Yeah. I hear that bitch. Y'all gonna start it? We'll see how it starts. We just got <laughs> oh, that's fine, man. What's it got? Racing gas? Got racing gas? I know this car's just been sitting here. Either. All these cars are going to be just sitting here. Man, it's cold today. That's what oh, it is. <laughs> no, nah, you're good, bro. It's not, you can tell it's got that rumble. It's just yeah, it's 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 shy right now. It's camera it's shy. Nice. It's not yeah. ready, it's not ready. That's, that's what it is, right? Yeah, when he's I just don't want to show you here. Yeah, when he wants to bring it out, you know. I'm I'm sure. It's nice, man. It's nice. Shy. I hear that big fuel pump. Yeah, Was this a normal pump gas or it's got a uh, racing gas? Um, I think it could take both, bro. Both? Okay. Yeah, it could take both. It could take nitrous, too, I believe. Nice. I believe the nitrous and some shit. shit. So what's your plans with the Monte Carlo? Sure. Sale. <laughs> Sale. Sale. No shit. Like you see the other projects, it's probably gonna end up sitting right there. Not fucking uh, raffling that bitch. Nice. Nice. You know, there's somebody an opportunity to win it, you know, because a lot of people right now, you know, the cop can be fucked up and all that. A lot of people already got all the money for cars. I mean, sometimes they might be more lucky than anything you know they might win the motherfucker so well if you guys wondering what he's gonna do with this car like i said go subscribe to his youtube channel and just keep up with his, his updates i'm not sure what he's gonna do i don't really ask the buyers what they do with their cars you know they can do whatever they want as long as they pay for it you know but uh now is the moment of truth this is for the car that we came this is the one that he got for sale and it's ready to go well it's almost like what like 85 percent done Basically, a little small little touches and shit, you know. Alright, here it is. There we go. We got a 1988 Chevy Monte Carlo SST top. You know, got the original 305, 5.0 high output motor in it. You know, running good. You know, we got the custom headlights, LED. Turn them on so they can see them. I'll show you how You just put those yesterday? Yeah, I just put them on yesterday. I barely got the car yesterday, you know, put shop to shop to shop to shop to shop. <laughs> These are aftermarket uh, LED lights. A uh, guy makes them right here local, right? Yeah, some guy custom makes them. So, I mean, a lot of people, are, I was asking, hey, bro, where can I find them on the website on eBay? I said, shit, you ain't gonna find them on there. Also, well, if you guys are interested in headlights, I'm sure he can point you in the right direction. Yeah, or, I got you. Yeah? So, if y'all need, need some lights, hit them up. Yeah, we got the custom paint on there. That's the... Uh, Daytona Beach, I think. It is, bro. I, you know I know that because that's the color of my old dog. Yeah, yeah, no, right? <laughs> yeah, I know for his pressure. Daytona Beach, outrageous. Yeah, that outrageous Daytona Beach paint out there. You know, we got the... Oh, I see you got the pinstripe. Yeah. So about the pinstripe, so you know how they come usually in the triple. Yeah. So when I ordered this one, the other two bottle fat ones, there was not gold. They was kind of like brown. Uh-huh. So I was like, yeah, hell no, I'm not putting that shit on. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of why you're only going to see one stripe on there for right now, but I did order another set, which I'm waiting for it to come in. What color, black? Uh, no, it's gonna, uh, the one I ordered this time it says it's triple gold, all three gold, you know? Because mm. you know how it got some thin and then the fat and the fatter one. So I mean, I told my guy, look, bro, just put the gold one out there. That shit looks bogus. 24 inch MT, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, those are MTWs. MTWs. You know, we got the frame notch on there. So it's I just got frame notch. Yesterday, you know, for the shop, you know, getting the frame, whatever notch. So this car just got painted. You just did this car what, like in the in the past month and a half or two? Yeah, I'd say like two months tops. Two months. 
If you guys don't remember, when I sold Fabian that red truck, this car was over there in primer. So if y'all want to go back and check how the car looked before and how it looks after, it's like a completely makeover. This is the shop that painted it. If y'all looking for paint, I guess, this is the guy on the west side. That's the name of the shop, West Side Outbody. You can go check it out. Got the third brake light. That's nice. T-top. Uh, T-top, get down here, they Custom interior. Yeah, we got the custom interior done and uh, the stitching to match the uh, color paint. I can open the door? Yeah, yeah, I got you. You're missing the steering wheel. Where's the steering wheel? Uh, that's on its way right now. So it's, I got the steering wheel, I ordered it. But uh, like I said, it's it was chrome brush. So right now what I'm doing, I'm getting a gold dip. Cause I can't do a brush steering wheel with a gold rims, you know. I need that shit matching. So he's about to ship it out later on today, so it should probably be here tomorrow. Interior looks nice. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, you got the stars. On. Check out them these stars. Panels back on. Yeah, these plastic pieces all out there. Still gotta put that on. Oh yeah, I oh, seen them. The yeah, yeah, I seen them in the back seat. Like I said, I mean, I barely got the car back finally from every shop that I had took it to so it's like now that it's here it's time for me to get my ass to work now but this is the only car really that's really ready besides the other projects and uh you got a price in mind or are you still like working uh, on this trying to figure right out now everybody been like I said I've been uh, posting it so uh the price I got in mind right now I've been telling everybody it was 30 about 30 bands Yeah, thirty thousand. What y'all think, gang? Thirty thousand for this nineteen eighty-eight Monte Carlo SS. Yeah, yeah. What does it got? Three fifty? Yeah, three oh five. Original. Yeah, no car want to start today. I don't know what's going on. Scary, though, you think that's what it is? Yeah, well, yeah. We just got this one yesterday from the tow truck and shit from uh, Playboy Jeezy. Oh, okay, he yeah, did he the. Uh, fucking, uh, right my rear end on there. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's a nice car. Way. I like the color combo. Yeah, hell yeah, that's what I like. About it. I like to do little different shit. You know? Try out different stuff. Yeah, hell yeah. It's nice. Like, like I said, I actually barely got it back today, so it's time for me to finally put my hands on her and shit, you know? Yeah, get it all I done, you know? Yeah. I know we're in winter right now, but you know, spring, yeah. summer might come quick, so you gotta be yeah. ready. Time yeah. flies. The buyer's gonna come quick. <laughs> the buyer? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's got a nice color scheme, you know? It's yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, it flows through everything, you know? I honestly yeah. probably will pass on it just because uh, I'm not really trying to buy no more toys. I don't know if you've seen, bro, but I got a lot of toys yeah. lately. I think I went a little too crazy. So I gotta get yeah, back to. Some, I, that's 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 you what I really got to do. One. I got rid of one. Well, this one was not a keeper, man. But uh, G bodies, like I said, they're not really my thing. They're nice cars, but I like just yeah. I like more like Caprices, so trucks. I like, I like everything. Don't get me wrong. I'll buy so, but yeah. like I'm not at the position to keep everything I buy. Yeah, I mean, I, I would like to keep. To keep everything, yeah, shit, yeah, I yeah. Said exactly. <laughs> yeah. You so just keep moving them out. I like to get stuff that people I know like. So like I said, I don't buy it to keep it. I buy it, you know, because I know that's where the uh, money's at, really. Right. No, it's it's people like, you know, what I mean, the color. Yeah. The no, it's car, a nice. It's, they're nice cars. I like the. I like Monte Carlos's. I like Regals. I like Cutlasses. I like all the Grand Nationals. You know, but. Yeah, but if I were to keep one, I think my car that I'm keeping, if I were to like not sell that thing, like a '69 Chevelle. Oh, Chevelle. Yeah, yeah, they're nice. That's, that's one of my bucket lists too, man. Yeah. But those. That's gotta be really, really it's like, like later. About the 69. Everybody like the 70, but something about that 69. 69. That little curve. Yeah. Like, I had a 68, they're similar. Yeah, so I don't know. That's just kind of like a little drink car right there, 69 Chevelle. Well, there y'all have it, gang. If y'all are interested in this car or even any of these, I don't know if you'll sell this one. I'm sure he sells anything for the right price. Yeah, anything goes for the right price. So he got the 71. You got a price 71? Uh, probably like 12. 
12,000 for the 71 hardtop. It comes with a Tierra aftermarket grill, like the whole front end, like in the middle. It's all Tierra grill. So it comes that. That's like a $2,000 grill. So 12,000 for that car. If y'all looking for a project, 75. You got a price in mind or that one? You nah, you're yeah, still, nah, I'm still gonna, cooking. Yeah, I'm gonna cook that one up. You know, do the paint job, do the interior, put a new clock top. You know, fuck with the motor. And like I said, this one just got here yesterday. So uh, I haven't uploaded on my channel yet. I might upload that today. Okay. So like I said, I mean, it just got here yesterday, so now it's time to, I guess, start going to the lab. All right. And the Ford, he said he already sold it. So we're gonna check out, see what else. Well, bro, appreciate yeah, you again. again. Appreciate you again. Bring me another toy, man. You already know he never disappoints me. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to his channel, man, because I see that army's <laughs> getting strong, man. Shit, we need that support over here. So, man, make sure y'all yeah, go, support go subscribe your boy, to man. his channel, man. Like I said, he got enough. He got a lot of cars. He got Chevys over there, Chevys over there. He got Chevys back there, and he just got a lot of stuff going on. So yes, I don't, sir. I don't know. You know, we don't. Uh, we talk here and there when we uh, we see we something we like from each other, but yeah. we do the same thing. So there's no point of really like buying and selling stuff between us because we do the same things unless we something right. we want or somebody asks for it or you know we'll work it out. But hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I'm out.